Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Last we left off, after a very long video, we had escaped from the Collector ship, supposedly derelict, and most definitively a trap set by the Elusive Man. Well, okay, led into by the Elusive Man. An important distinction, I'm sure, but... Ah. Yes. Research. Yes. Research. And we need one more heavy pistol. Okay, fine. Uh, anything else that I want to add here? Yeah. Redundant field generator? Ooh. I, I can agree with this. And tech damage. Yes. Anything else here? Tech duration. Element zero required. Hmm. Yeah. And I don't need any of those. Okay. So I've got a bunch of research there done there. And again, after major missions, it's always a good idea to check around how people are doing. What's your opinion, Kelly? You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. The Normandy crew delivered, including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. By the way, if it's not obvious that Kelly has a major crush on Shepard... So I mean, the regardless. collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different. And I believe it's been confirmed that they are. What's up, Joker? Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made That's my it point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Alright, nothing new there. Stop turning your head, especially while you're running. Gosh. What is so fascinating on the floor immediately to your left? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Have I? Alright, what's going on here? Ah. Yeah, probably a good idea to take care of that mission now, come to think. Okay. So, eventually, I'm going to come back here and actually explore the area, but for now, I want to take care of some missions first. So, the Acquire Reaper IFF, we're going to save that for quite a while from now, and I'll explain more later. I have a very good reason for uh, saving that for considerably later. This wasn't the one that I wanted, was it? No. Okay. Okay, that's the one I wanted. Okay. Sorry. My bad. Not paying attention. That's what happens when I'm trying to talk and do stuff at the same time. So, this mission is actually really interesting. Darwin, stop blocking what I'm looking for. Um, stop the missile attack. This one actually has a bit more of a... a moral component to it that's less, uh... Okay, see, that's, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so I'm clearly in the wrong spot. Can I enter the orbit? 
Robert of... Is it Don Franklin again? Why? Okay. Why can I not get it? There we go. Anomaly detected. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Freaking... Report to hazard shelters immediately. Probe launched. So uh, yeah. Defended by a Javelin MK missile base. A distress signal indicates that the base is not compromised by Batarians who have launched two missiles at the an Alliance colony. Total destruction of colony is imminent. Zero probability of survivors if missiles strike. Five minutes after time of landing to deactivate the missiles after shuttle touchdown. So this is a timed mission. And unfortunately I did not have the DLC when I was uh, recording my uh, Let's Play for Mass Effect 1, but there is in fact a DLC, I think it's called Bring Down the Sky, where a similar sort of situation presents itself, but on the reverse, involving a Batarian colony. Um, I did not have that DLC, so you never saw it, unfortunately, but, uh, but hey, we've got Tally with us, we may as well take her in with us on this mission. Oh, he's got points, but, uh... Oh, golly. Okay. And... why not? Attack drone or explosive drone? Okay. Shepard has no points. There's no points, Shepard! Okay. So, um, yeah, the, the Patarians are not, not happy with humanity. And now we have... Major firefight here. Looks bad. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh. Ah! Move to that. I shot him in the arm and that killed him. You like that? You like that? No, I do not like that, sir. Okay, so that's... No. Oh yeah, bypass. Oh, my God. 
that's actually kind of funny. Now I really shouldn't waste too much time on the combat. Alright, so... What? Okay. Alright, it's this way I want to go. This door, which we also have to bypass. Joy of joys. switch console. Alright, let's do this. Okay, we can hack this. Where is it? There it is. There we are. This becomes the moral dilemma of this. So you can either save the spaceport, the industrial district, um, so you would protect Alliance interests and tactical viability, albeit at the cost of hundreds of lives in the city, or you can save the capital city to save the hundreds of lives. But the industrial area will be destroyed and the colony will no, be, no longer be considered viable and will have to be evacuated. Now this depends on what you're trying to save. For me, it's always going to be the residential district, particularly on Clara Shepard, but in general. Because you can always rebuild a colony, you can always start a new life someplace else, no matter how difficult it is. But you cannot bring back a life once it's been lost. So, save Capital City. That should do it. And then if there is anything that you happened to miss in your rush to get over to, uh, to the, uh, console in time, now would be an opportunity to go through, for example, the power cells, which I don't really need. Why can't I not to get down here? Come on. Let me down. Alright, so, um... There really isn't much that I missed, and if there is, then I'm sorry. But, would I like to return to the Normandy? Yes. Punch the air! I'm ready to go! Colonies, thousands of lives saved. Notice, of course, the elusive man didn't really particularly spare a lot of money for this particular mission. But, well... It's who you choose to save, who you choose to, uh... What you choose to Commander, preserve. you've received a new message at your private terminal. And I tend to choose lives over viable colonies. That's just me, though. Okay, so I read that one. Okay. Uh-huh. Transfer request approved. Per Talizora Vas Nima's request, 
included with her data delivery from Haystrom, the Admiralty Board has approved her transfer to your command. She has been informed that additional duties to the migrant fleet may still be necessary on occasion, but has been given extended leeway to determine when her mission with you is considered complete. This choice was hers, but your role as de facto captain during her pilgrimage may have caused her to be more susceptible to your request. Uh, the Admiralty Board trusts that you will treat your new crew member with the respect due an honored member of the fleet. Should any harm come to her due to negligence on your part, this board will take severe and appropriate action. Admiral Ral Rail Zora. That would be, by the way, I'm pretty sure, her father. <clears throat> well... Speaking of Tally... What, kitty? I know. I know you're bored, and you want attention. All right. Hey, Dally. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. What? Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So, no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Huh. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had Anora, good intentions. Huh? The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Yeah, let's hope you don't have to prove anything posthumously. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. All right. And on that rather depressing note, it's time for this video to come to its conclusion. But I hope to see you next time, where we take care of something almost completely unrelated to Tally, but, uh, 
you've probably been waiting for anyway. Hope to see you then.